Hello, in this video we're going to create a vendor capability matrix in the form of a heat map. When you hit the heat map tab, what you see are a list of all of your vendors on the left and all of the capabilities that you've entered into the system that are of concern to you. Further, all of the vendors are grouped. So if I were to select strategic, we can see all of the strategic vendors we have in the system. I could also add the niche vendors, but let's just say in this case, I don't want the niche vendors, I want the strategic vendors. I can also modify the selections. Let's say I don't want this service vendor, but I want this outsourcing shop. Okay, I'm happy with my vendor selections on the left, and now I want to select capabilities. So I can select them all, and I can turn off those capabilities which don't apply in this particular heat map that I'd like. So now I'm happy with my selections. I can say show heat map. The system will generate a heat map with those vendors on the left and the capabilities going across the right. If I want to understand how this vendor got a 4.0 on application development, I can click on it and it'll show me all of the ratings that were collected for that vendor. Now let's just say that I've had an experience working with this, this vendor in our company and I want to add a new rating at this time. I can go in here and I can say, well, you know, they really weren't that great. Let's just say they were poor. And then I can also say that this was based on experience at our company. When you configure your system, you'll add these source types and you'll also give them a weighting to say which ones are the most important to you. And I'll show you in a second how that bears out. I'll pick past experience at our company and I'll click on save. We now see that that 2.0 rating is there. Notice it says definitive and again that's saying we're applying the highest weighting to past experience at our company. Web race research here has a good rating. So I'll now close this. Notice when I go back into the screen it says application development at 2.5 which isn't exactly an average between two and four. And again, it's because the weighting is higher for this definitive source, which is past experience at our company. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You can basically select the vendors that you require, look at the scores, see how those scores were tabulated based on past evaluations and add your own ratings. Thank you.